The next Fortnite update is just around the corner despite Season 3 only being a week old. And despite Season 3 in itself being perhaps one of the most vibrant looking and cool map change based seasons that we've seen in a very long time, despite the fact the prophecy has come true from this loading screen and Clombos are now no more, even though it's confirmed they're going to be returning revamped in a new colour as data miners have been able to determine from new updated coding, with the first hotfix update of this season arriving, believe it or not there's so much more content we need to discuss, upcoming in 21.10 being the next downtime update releasing next week out of all five that we'll be seeing this season. Make sure you're sticking around and watching the full video to get enlightened on everything upcoming as believe me there's a lot we're going to be covering in a short space of time and one favour I ask of you guys in return as it's 100% free to do is simply enter this three digit code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop. You guys already know this not only puts a giant smile on my face but cheers up my pug Gus too who's been kind of sad about the fact he knows that 70% of all eyes watching right now are not subscribed. With that said hit the big red button right now as we're on our final push to 2.5 million or 2.5 million subscribers and after all it only benefits you as I do give different subscribers every single day. So if you ever want to receive something simply make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment your Epic Games ID down below and let me know what you'd like to receive so perhaps you could be gifted like this on screen in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the next video. But with that said now enough messing around we've got a ton of things to dive into including the motorbike vehicles upcoming so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. <laughs> So for our first update, the long anticipated return of being able to swing around the Daily Bugle looks like it's going to be a thing now in this hotfix tomorrow I believe. On the 14th of June 2022 as Hypex stated the following, tomorrow is a content update, we'll either get the Grapple Glove or Junk Rifts or both, the Grapple Glove has 30 slots in pubs and 10 competitive and overheats after constant uses. Of course we already know what the Junk Rifts look like from Chapter 1 Season 9 or Season X, either way this was the introduction trailer for those. And speaking of trailers, but for this grapple gun that people have even managed to get in game early, believe it or not, it was revealed in the Chapter 3 Season 3 gameplay trailer. Despite the iconic replication of Indiana Jones running away from a giant boulder being recreated with the balls in Fortnite, of course he then swings to safety using this grapple glove itself. And with these being the stats for it on screen in terms of usage, of course now considering Epic Games have basically just revamped the Spider-Man Mythic web shooters, who's to say they can't do it again, but in an even easier way for that Miles Morales collaboration that everybody thought would be upcoming based off some of the voice lines that Prowler said last season, but I guess we will have to wait and see. Moving on to the second update, despite us obviously knowing Indiana Jones is the secret or coming soon collaboration skin, which actually is available for the first time according to the timer right now on July 7th, 2022, being a Friday. Unlike Prowler last season, which only had one page of rewards, including what the skin was on itself, if we go over to Indiana Jones and select this menu, now there's two pages, just like the first season of Chapter 3 for the Foundation. And just like the Foundation, believe it or not, way before this page is revealed in terms of what rewards go where we already know all of the rewards on this second page for the Indiana Jones update. This was determined by a YouTuber or leaker or data miner called Comrades, as you can see he's put basically all of the cosmetics onto this image that he's managed to find in the game's files, already surrounding Indiana Jones that we can't see on the first page, or teased through other things such as loading screens, for instance the glider. Of course Indiana Jones can come to the game earlier than July 7th if Epic Games decide to hotfix him into the game a few days later or a few days after, as it was proven with Prowler we don't need a downtime for this skin to become available. So let me know down below in the comments what you think of this second page of rewards. Personally I like the rubber dinghy glider as we're going to be seeing that literally all over the island upon the day he's unlockable. And speaking of the island itself, again as mentioned at the start of the video, despite the brand new vibrant map changes for our third point obviously being put onto the island itself, this reality tree being the heart of these new map changes. For those that don't know this may not be a force for good and is going to be spreading across the island if you couldn't already tell from the routes that were already right here on the outskirts of the rave cave but now have made their way over to Logjam Lubyard. There may be more locations than what data miners have managed to discover here in terms of the reality tree spreading to, the routes that have seeped out from it across the map in these various areas. And referring back to the reality tree itself as a map change being portrayed to be, well, positive as now there seems to be peace on the island, the scientist seems to think different as despite us just averting catastrophe from Jenna, it seems apparently too quiet, perhaps implying with also this at the end of the trailer, which believe it or not we can actually see early on the fall Fortnite surveys as a skin in concept form before it's being added into the game, this brand new enemy which seems to be targeting or resembling the bloom of the reality tree itself. Perhaps even the energy from this or it appearing on the island is what fully killed Clombos underneath the mounds at the end of the last season, but now for our fourth point we're going to be talking about how we know they're returning and what they're going to look like on the island or actually perform as. Of course for those that don't know Clombos are still on the island right now which were part of a challenge last season which gave us XP as part of one of the secret Clombo quests despite visiting the mounds in different biomes. And with everybody forgetting about the coding that was updated at the end of last season, basically showing us
showing us a Clombo dance of what they're going to be looking like when they're happy in game or whatever mood they're in. As Clombo's never returned after this moment, even in the live event for just a short space of time before Season 3 released, we haven't seen this in game. On top of that too, something everybody wondered about them first being added, since they were anyways, although Epic Games said they'd wipe out the entirety of Tilted if they came to harm's way, is if they could be eliminated. Well again, at the end of last season, Hypex was able to determine that not only when they return will they be eliminatable, but will have an incentive for doing so, with them dropping different types of loot vastly. And just like for eliminating supply llamas, I'm guessing when we do eliminate one, considering it might be hard for it to drop this amount of loot, I'm guessing it will be giving us a ton of XP for doing so. And if that wasn't enough to portray they're going to be re-implemented, PQ managed to find not only will they have different music added for whatever mood they're in when they're near us, but there will be some brand new colour versions of Clombo, however we don't know what they are looking like exactly right now, but people in the community upon reading this leak have obviously gone to work. I'm guessing everybody's going to be at least trying to eliminate a Clombo once just to see what it looks like after all this time of anticipating an elimination animation, but hopefully this doesn't cause chaos or war between the players as big as what we saw between the Imagined Order and the Seven at the end of last season as the piece has only just started and perhaps is about to get even more insane with the biggest concert we've ever seen in-game collaborated with free rewards being Fortnite x Juice World for our next update we're going to be discussing. For those that don't know, there were talks a while back from Juice World's manager about him meeting with Epic Games and discussing, well, integrating Juice into Fortnite in some way, shape or form, but it seems now that perhaps may have come to fruition or pass that we don't know about from silent negotiations as Juice World's manager not only retweeted the launch tweet of Fortnite Season 3, but over on Instagram too he replied to a Juice World fan page about it basically breaking the news that, yeah, Juice World could be collaborated in Fortnite with this. Despite this concert being the biggest one we've seen in Fortnite thus far not taking place inside just Creative or the Soundwave series, of course then we can be expecting to see Juice World as a character in Fortnite, meaning there will be a skin that we can get from the item shop I'm guessing, alongside free rewards that we can earn that go along with this cosmetic set. Meanwhile speaking of events that are going to be happening soon, on to our next update that will be happening. For those that don't know, Epic Games add a huge summer event in the month of June or just toward its end, as it's previously started on these dates and these names obviously tying to it in prior seasons. And with there being so many summer themed cosmetics on these Epic Games surveys of skins that they have actually took off here and put into game, make sure soon to keep an eye out when the 21.10 update goes live as some of these will be in the game's coding upcoming rotating throughout the shop for summer. And speaking of the summer event, despite us not knowing the title or name for it yet or what free rewards are going to be upcoming as everything I'm guessing is going to be contained in that next update 20.10 as previously mentioned, nicely moving on to perhaps the most interesting point of the video about new vehicles being added is where this nicely comes in in terms of content teased right in front of our eyes, even in the trailer as you can see firstly, this grapple device which allows us to grapple onto the back of Boats as you can see he's kind of skitching I think that's the terminology on the back of it, kind of how it works with sharks and the fishing rods but obviously there's no fishing rod or animal involved trying to catch bait. And despite this nicely fitting the summer theme, believe it or not it's not the only vehicle that's recently been added back into the files that data miners have been able to find that's going to blow your mind to do with summer. As you can see Hypex stated right here, not only are we going to be getting the summer surfboards added back, whether it's for Battle Royale only or Save the World, but according to him motorcycles are going to be upcoming using the same ride animation as animals which kind of makes sense considering if we compare how we're sat on a boat or a wolf right here to how someone sits on a motorcycle, especially when going fast, they definitely have large correlation and speaking of motorbikes in Fortnite, here is an early concept that my thumbnail designer managed to make of how they would look as I'm guessing they're going to be the dirt bikes as despite me preferring these in terms of the look, of course they can then cover all types of terrain not just on the road. In order to get updated on more of that intel however make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future uploads and drop a like on this video today if you enjoyed and want to keep referring back to it. Speaking of other videos or where you go next now make sure to interact with anything on screen I don't mind by either subscribing or clicking the next video but hopefully I can catch you in the very next upload on the channel.